Good morning. On this morning, I'm having one of my mug muffins. I only ended up eating half of that, so it was just too filling. And I'm having some whole milk yogurt, um, a half of a serving of that and a half a serving. This is the kind of yogurt I use. Um, a half a serving of the lactate low-fat cottage cheese, and I'm using a teaspoon of strawberry rose skinny syrup to sweeten it up. And I'm topping it with a quarter cup of this homemade uh, keto mix cereal. It's just like seeds, nuts and seeds, and coconut and stuff like that. It's really, really good. Okay, and then for lunch, I'm having my weird <laughs> picky plate again with my <laughs> three celeries and one tablespoon of organic peanut butter. Um, and then a half an ounce of pork rinds, which I use for crackers when I eat my sardines. And then um, some aged cheddar cheese and four olives. And um, I also ended up eating half a quest and had some decaf. Hi, ducks. They just found a, a home, I guess. Taking a swim. How cute. They're so cute. All right, for dinner, I'm having an omelet taco. So instead of a taco shell or tortilla, I just made an omelet and um, some um, zucchini with some cheese and tomatoes. And this is, uh, this is really filling. I actually couldn't eat it all, it was so good. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday morning and I'm just getting back from the store. I did uh, a bit of a shopping haul, so I will go home and unload and show you what I got. All right, I'm just going to do a review from the trunk because it's easier that way since everything's here. So this haul is from Sam's. I usually get the alkaline water whenever I'm there and it lasts me throughout the week. And then um, I got broccoli, lots and lots of broccoli. And uh, we just seem to be really developing a taste for that. That can't be wrong. Um, then also a bunch of celery. I've been having peanut butter and celery with some of my meals and um, as part of the protein content. And I really like the crunch and the fiber that it brings. I did get some chunk light tuna. I like to build up my pantry on that. I don't get much chance because everybody likes it. And so we go through it um, a bit. And then um, avocados. I had to get some more of that. They've got a lot of good fiber in them. I had to get some chunk chicken breast. Recipes with Roy made a wonderful chicken uh, chunk chicken breast recipe. I'm going to be trying that. Uh, chicken patties. I did get um, some more pork rinds. I got this last week and we're halfway through because it's not just me that likes them. Hubby does and the kids do too. Now I generally have like just a half an ounce with my meal. Um, it's a good little handful uh, but everybody likes them too so <laughs> I had to get a little bit more. Um, and then I had to get some strawberries um, those are good low-carb fruit. The grapes are, for my kids, they're higher in sugar, and they move my blood sugar a little bit more, so not for me. More blackberries. I'm telling you, these are really super sweet right now, guys, so it's a good time to get them. Got a whole bunch because kids like them, too. I had to get iceberg lettuce. I could not find romaine lettuce anywhere. I don't know if something's going on with the romaine now or what. I did get some apples for um, the boys for now. Not for me for now, but they love them. I love Andy apples. Um, I got some more of these um, turkey sausages for breakfast and stuff, but I, I generally give them all to the kids and I never have any. Although the carbs are only like two per each serving, which is not bad at all. It's just that they're usually higher on points. And so for me, it's usually not the good trade-off in the morning. All right, so I have um, a rotisserie chicken, always comes in handy. Um, got some more Canadian bacon. The kids love that. Um, the kids usually like this cheese here. I like it okay too, uh, but I don't usually have it a lot. My hubby likes the pepper jack. I think I'll put half in the freezer because I think he's the only one that will use it. Um, I did get a chuck roast too, and I'm going to cook that ahead of time and just kind of like shred it and use it throughout the week in different meals. All right, just a little haul from Walmart. I've got some unsweetened almond milk, some big ones here. Um, I did get quite a few of these 
chicken broth with less sodium in them because I do like to make soup, but every time I do, I use like two of those. Um, I got some of these whisks here. They're Parmesan cheese crisp, and these are uh, very low carb. They're like one gram of carb per one ounce serving, which is 150 calories. Um, and usually, now it's 13 grams of protein in here. Um, usually when something's like a one ounce serving, I usually measure out half of that, and that's usually what I do. I don't usually take like the full ounce, which it doesn't seem like a lot, but when they're as light as this or like pork rinds, it actually comes out to quite a bit. Um, so weigh them just to make sure you might want to go with less. Um, the green leaf. Now I got kind of spoiled. I bought some of the romaine that were all triple washed and ready to use for like sandwiches and wraps and things. They didn't have any romaine. So I do like green leaf and I noticed that when you do wrap with green leaf lettuce, it actually cradles like a hamburger or something even better and you can fold them over whereas um, the romaine leaves break and they snap. So I got two of these because I'm kind of getting spoiled with having all that work done already for me and then I got some more coleslaw because that I like it hot or uh, like for egg roll in a bowl or something or I like it cold I like a nice cold coleslaw with some um, grilled chicken breast on it and stuff like that and we do so much with that it's only like a dollar 38 for a bag so why not um, I did get some little grape tomatoes we don't eat a lot of tomatoes but if I just get one of these for the week it lasts. I did get some romaines too this week though. The reason why is because I'm gonna make some salsa. That salsa I make lasts like for months and months in the fridge because I think it kind of ferments itself, but it's about time for me to make some. I did get some pine nuts. Pine nuts are an indulgence. Once in a long time, it's like I buy one of these twice a year or something like that. But they are very low in carb. Well, it's, f it's five grams of carbs for a serving, one ounce again three grams of protein, uh, 180 calories. Now again, I would probably go with like a half, or honestly what I would use it is just to kind of like spice up a veggie dish or something like that for the whole family. So I'm not just gonna sit there and eat like a tablespoon of pine nuts. It's a little indulgent, but I mean, it's kind of wasteful because I really like to add it to stuff. Um, these, I have to show you. Guys, I've been buying these and they are amazing. I can highly recommend them. They are cold brew. Uh, cold water infusion teas. This one's strawberry lemon orange blossom. And these are so good. And I just infuse my water with these and add a little bit of sweetener. This is cranberry lime honeysuckle. I highly, highly recommend these from Bigelow. They're so nice. Now I will show you, oh great, a yard guy here. Um, I will show you some teas that I was looking at that are like this, but they're a little bit of a problem. All right, these cold infused teas looked really good, but I did not get them because I turned it around and saw that they are um, pre-sweetened and they had five carbs each. All right, I got a couple of these. Um, everybody likes to put this on something. It's really not a lot of carbs. Uh, some canned whipped cream. Uh, once in a while, it actually adds to some nice fancy coffees or something. This has one gram of carb, one sugar in here for two tablespoons, which isn't bad if you're on a low-carb diet. But I found this one, which is sugar-free whipped heavy cream, which is different. It's five calories more, I think, because of the increased fat, but um, zero carb and zero sugar. And so I thought, well, you know, I'm going to try this one and then... Um, rather than this one and then um, the kids I'll put this on some of the kids stuff here because this one I noticed it has maltodextrin which is in fact a sugar and then this one this one did not this one has sucralose in it so um, I thought this might be a good one here all right I'm probably going to have to do a voice over here all right, so I did get some more pure vanilla. This I saw on Planning Us Healthy. Christy was using cake batter flavor one time and I have not been able to find this until now. Um, but this, to add this to different things, I could add it to smoothies, whatever. I, I'm gonna use that in something. All right, and then one of my wonderful viewers had recommended nut pods. I'm also using this as well as the other creamer that I use normally, um, the super creamer. It's like keto friendly, but this one is also keto low carb friendly. And this has like 
I think it's like one carb, zero carbs, right, for one tablespoon and only 10 calories. It's a very, very good choice. I, I really recommend that, especially if you're dairy-free. Now, I am buying the inked uh, keto bread, and um, I've given it to my hubby. Hubby likes it okay. I've not yet had it. Again, I'm kind of really, you know, really careful about the breads and things that I add in. But the kids have started having this, and I don't think it hurts them to cut them down off of sugars as well and give them more whole foods, and less sugar can only do them good. Um, I did get these because my hubby misses the white tortillas, and um, he does like the Olay's okay, but I thought this would mix it up for him a little bit. And um, I probably won't have these, even though they're, you know, they're probably pretty friendly. I'd heard they're recommended for low carb. 15 grams of carbs minus 11 dietary fibers. And I know some people will count the whole carb and not minus the net carbs, but I think, you know, if you check your blood sugar and you see if it works for you, then it works for you. Sometimes it works for some people, sometimes it doesn't. All right, I was excited to see an almond tortilla out there, but I did not get it because when I turned it around, uh, the macros weren't so bad, but when I looked at the ingredients, it looked like there were about three or four different types of starches that could actually raise the blood sugar, so didn't end up getting that. All right, I stopped at Whole Foods and um, I had to get some more of this amazing protein, this vanilla honeysuckle. It's called Glow and it actually has one gram of carb in each serving and 15, or is it, yeah, oh, two, two grams of carbs, but one fiber, so one carb. And then, um, yeah, 15 grams of protein. So um, that's the one I've been using in my smoothies. And then I, I needed to get some more yogurt. I use this one. It's a lactose-free plain yogurt from Green Valley. I've got two of those because Hubby and I both use those throughout the week. And then I got some of this. Um, now I got the Apricot Health Smart and it was absolutely the best tasting sugar-free jam I've ever had. So I got the blueberry jam to see if it was just as good. Um, it's not very expensive either, but they had it at Whole Foods. I haven't seen this one anywhere else. And I always check the side and look at their carbs and look at their sugars. And this one is always, always really super low. Now this one says um, it's that it's eight, eight grams of carbs, but it is six sugar alcohols. So you kind of have to like minus that, um, but it's for one tablespoon. And I have to tell you, this is so sweet that I never use more than a teaspoon on my breads. Um, so that a little bit of this goes a long way. So I mean, if you're gonna use a tablespoon, I'm really, I have to wonder, you know, how much sweet you really want. But then I got some sun butter, sunflower butter. This is um, no sugar added. And I have a recipe that uses sunflower butter. So I thought I would just pick one up. Two tablespoons is 210, so of course it's got a lot of fat, 18 grams of fat. Um, the carbs are very low, four grams, uh, eight proteins. So, And all this is is roasted sunflower seeds and salt, so they don't add a bunch of wacko oils that are going to inflame your insides. So anyway, I thought that was good. And then I splurged on a couple items. I got this cheese. Um, this is from Spain. What kind of cheese is this? It was called Mahone. Home cheese, I don't know. But anyway, um, they have good cheeses over there. And then I got this because I saw that this was like somebody recommended this. I would never ever normally buy a pork pate, but um, I thought, I don't know, I was just going to be wild this week and try it out. Obviously, this is super carb, low, low carb. Um, it's like zero carbs, but and I think it's a serving is like, I don't know, two ounces, which is a bit for me, but. Maybe honey will try it out with me. Anyway, thought I would show you. Hey guys, look what came in the mail. I had to finally break down and get myself one of these little Dash mini waffle makers. And I love this color here in teal. They're so cute. I just, <laughs> look how small they are. <laughs> it's just so cute. Um, I got these because I have not made a chaffle to this point. And that's something that I'm going to be working into into my meals this week is some chaffles. And so we will try some different recipes real soon, but I'm going to really like working with this. This is really so cute. 